Hey, what's up, everybody? For those of y'all that seen Drunk He Man in the Masters of the Universe, Episode 2, Quest for the Liquor, y'all know that anti attorney He Man, he's ready to wage war on He Man and whoever gets in his way. And as y'all can see right here, I got a whole bunch of anti attorney figures, each one of them made by Lunar Eclipse Customs. And let me tell you something, he has made 13 more of these bitches. We're gonna cover them right now. First figure up is anti attorney of one dog. Now I know some of y'all seen this ass in wave two, but I just made him real quick. But this one right here, he took his time with it and he hooked his ass up. This motherfucker, he even got the wonder bread. Now let's start from the bottom. Them boots, very well detailed, all the way up to the loincloth, all the way up to the vest. And then he's got the wonder bread right there. He got a baguette in one hand and a regular loaf in the other. And then right there, you see that fucking face? That shit looks hot. He hooked that hair up real nice. Right there, the back of the boots, nice and detailed. I'm loving all the shadowing that he's doing with these figures. Every wave gets better and better. And I'm very satisfied with this one door right here. Comparing his ass next to regular one door, there's no question. Anti attorney one door is probably gonna fuck him up. I hate to say it because one door, he's a badass, you know what I'm saying? But that anti attorney one door, he looks a little bit more badass to me. You know what I mean? He just looks dangerous. Got that nice gun in his head, nice axe. Yup, that's the winner right there. Great job on that one, brother. It's time to move on to anti Eternia Mechanic. Oh my god. Y'all see the detail in that shit? All in the neck, all the special weapons down here. Let me tell you something. Each one of these come with some type of special weapon. But right here, starting off at the bottom, them boots, I love the detail. Up in the loincloth, all the different right there, the shades of red. You got all up in the vest. That big ass, what, is, what type of weapon is that? Big ass club that he's got his regular club and shit. I'm loving the colors and the details in that neck. He used a nice shiny metallic red. You know what I mean? It's kind of, you know what I'm saying, show like it's metal. And then that fucking face, ooh, with the nice glasses right there, all nice and white. And then right there on the back of the body. It's looking good. Just like uh, Wonder, you know what I'm saying? Nice and detailed. What he did with just coloring in these things. As you'll notice as we keep on going through it, he used several different shades of red to help bring this figure to life. And it really does make a difference. Definitely an upgrade, I'm loving. But right here, compared to regular Mechanic, there's no question. anti attorney Mechanic will probably kill him. You know what I mean? He looks so good. Just a simple red and black makes a big difference to me. I wish Mattel would give us this type of figure but we know it won't happen. But thankfully for me, Lunar Eclipse Customs made this possible. And up next, we got anti attorney of Zodak. This motherfucker right here. Oh, I love the way the arms look. You know what I'm saying? We'll zoom into that in a second. But his overall look, it's perfect. Starting off with them boots right there. I'm loving how he made them nails black. Working our way up. Nice looking loincloth, nice and detailed as always. Same thing with the vest. And look at them daggers in his hand, going so well with that crazy shit just growing out of the back of his arms and shit. That shit looks like it'll cut somebody already, let alone with them crazy ass looking blades. And then all the way up, you got the hair sticking out, nice highlighted in red, and that fucking face, mwah, it's beautiful. Loving the way that helmet looks, them eyes is nice and white, and then right here on the back. Look at that hairy ass back of that motherfucker right there. The color and the detail is perfect. Great job on this one. We get a better look right there at the back of them arms and the back of that head. It's just the little details that go a long way. That back looks good right here compared next to regular Zodak. You know what? Like I said with the last two, I'm probably like I'm gonna say with the rest of these bitches, that one is badass. And he will definitely fuck him up if they got in a fight. I love the way them daggers look as he's posed right there. The nice little ninja looking pose. He's got his gun right there ready. This one's a win-win. But right here we got anti attorney Attila and this woman right here. Oh my gosh, she's perfect. She is so goddamn good. 
Oh, I'm so happy with this one. I love the cartoon Jim Zay collection, Tila. And having her made anti attorney style, it was just a must. The boots look great. All the way, the nice thick thighs, they're looking nice right there. The shape and the color, all the different shades of the red. Right there with her dagger that I gave her. Snake staff right there. You all see that shit right there? The details, it's so good. It really makes it pop. All the nice shades with the red and the black. And then that, that fucking face. Oh, it's so good. With the eyes right there, so everything pops so well. And then she got the snake armor and a big ass shield. She is ready for business. That is a perfect anti-attorney figure right there. And then right there, the back of that ass, everything looks good from here. From the bottom to the top, all the details. And right there, you can really see all the different shades of red everywhere. That shit looks so good. He took his time with this one, and I can tell. Right there with the snake vest on, that shit still looks good to me. Oh, I love it, I love it. This woman right here, this is one of my, in my top five probably with these anti-Turnia figures. Y'all can clearly see why they want him to do an Origins one. And she looks good. And especially compared right there to regular cartoon collection Tila. <laughs> that bitch right there, she looks good. I mean, they both look good. They both they the same to me. I don't care. I love them both. But if I had to pick one, yeah, I'm leaning more towards the anti-Turnia one. She just looks crazy. But we got more folks right here. Anti-Turnia Sky Clone. Oh my God, these keep on getting better and better. And I put them in this order for a reason. This one is so detailed. When I got this from Mattel Creations, I knew I had to have an anti-Turnia version. And right here, he hit this shit on the money. Just like the rest of them. With all the details with the shades of red. Starting off with them boots. Oh, I love the little details with the black right there in between on the top part of the boot. Following up with the belt right there in the chest. Oh, and that big ass sword, crazy looking sword. And then right there working our way up to that fucking face. It looks great. And for y'all that don't know, he dyes these figures. You know what I mean? It's a special process. I, I don't know how to do it, but he's got a video on his channel. Link in the description. The detail on those tornado blasts right there. Oh, that shit looks hot. That shit looks better than the ones that came with the normal version. And we're right here looking at the back of the body. That shit looks just as good as the front. I'm loving the way how them boots, like I said, the black part right around the top part. And then right there, that helmet, so detailed. Everything is flawless. This is a figure I, I, I must have. Must have for the collection. And then comparing his ass to regular Sky Clone, that shit looks so hot. Look at that shit, folks. Now, I know regular Sky Clone, the colors on him pop. But when you change his ass to anti-Eternia, there ain't no question that that one right there looks better than the regular version. I just can't get over the details and the little blast of wind right there. You see that shit with the other one? It looks good. But the anti-Eternia version, wah, that shit is sexy as shit. But we got more. Oh, my God. Anti-Eternia Roboto. It's so detailed. And look at that goddamn chest. You see that shit? He made it red. The man is a goddamn magician. That shit looks like Mattel made that shit. You know what I mean? How red that shit is. We're starting off at the bottom. All the different breaks with the red and the black. Working our way up to that finely dyed right there. Red right there. All up in the chest. That shit came out flawless. And then the arms right there. All the little electronics and shit with the red and the black, and then the fucking face. This shit looks good. If Mattel made this one right here, it would sell, I guarantee it. All these bitches would sell. Looking at the extra accessories with the weapons, that shit is flawless. The color and top notch. You done it again, Lunar Eclipse Customs. And right there at the back of the body, all the details with the shading is there. It's perfect. Just like the last ones, just like the ones next coming up. They keep on getting better and better. I'm going to have to say this shit right now. I was going to save it towards the end. But how he does the coloring, this is by far the best coloring I've ever seen done on a figure than by anybody. When it comes to coloring, he is the GOAT. Now right here, comparing it next to regular Bato, I love the difference. 
That shit looks so good. One is just so nice, you know what I'm saying, bright, while the other one is evil. And right there you can see, he's got an extra accessory. He's got a little robot companion and shit with a big ass gun right on his back, ready to shoot somebody up with the extra accessories. And just how badass that shit looks, I'm gonna have to give it to Anti-Attorney and Roboto. Now, if y'all thought that shit was badass, we got several more for you. Up next, we got Anti-Attorney Extendor. What the fuck? Do y'all see that shit right there? That shit looks so good. I would've never imagined it would look that goddamn good when you make that shit into an anti-attorney version. Starting off at the bottom, just the details and the electronics all up in the legs, all up in the waist, and that big ass, big ass sword. It's extender, he needs something big. Same thing right there, other arm looking good. And then working our way up, that fucking face looks so hot. You know what I mean? Just two colors, you know what I mean? Red and black, but it does a big difference. And with the white eyes, it just makes it pop. Even the shield, you know what I mean? With the details with the black right there. That's it. That's all you need to make a figure look badass when done correctly. And right there on the back of the body. Oh, shit. You see the details all up in there. All the electronics even better. All up in the neck. Now, the one thing I wish, you know what I mean? Maybe instead of a peace sign on the neck, it would have been something different. But he couldn't change all that. You got to work with what he got. And what he did right here is perfect. Oh, it looks so good. Mattel, hire this man. The color of you know him saying, yeah, y'all can just copy and paste. I don't give a shit. Was right there comparing the two. Hands down, anti-attorney extender as the bad motherfucker. And I give it to him. Now, I do love the way regular extender looks with the gold and the shiny silver. But the red and black version all day. You know what I mean? I love the sword. Just the details. It's perfect. Everyone is perfect. Shit. I can't help saying that shit. But I got another one that's even better. Right there. Oh. oh my god. Anti attorney of Coldar. That's one dangerous looking motherfucker. Do you see all the detail? The spikes. The goddamn spikes on the shoulder. The big ass gun in his hand. He looks evil. So perfect. The boots right there. Perfect, nice shade of dark red. Loin cloth looking good. Big ass crazy looking gun. Shoot somebody up. The axe, another perfect. And then the vest right there with the fucking fates, with the horns. Coldor with his horns, you know what I mean? I knew if there was an anti-Eternia version, it would look badass. And he did not disappoint. Lunar Eclipse Customs, you're a goddamn magician with this shit. Right there on the back of the body. Oh, it looks so good. You see his extra big ass sword. That shit is looking nice. But the spikes right there, that just, that did it for me. You know what I mean? He just added them spikes. He showed me that shit within the process and I was shocked. You know what I mean? But right there, they match so well with them devil horns on the head. This one is a winner. Definitely in my top five. Comparing the two, <laughs> there's no question. Anti-Attorney of Koldar, he's a beast. With the big ass gun and all the extra weapons. Koldar with the black eyes, with the white eyes. It does it for me. I love the way that shit looks. I've always loved regular Koldar. But this Anti-Attorney one, definitely better. I love it. But I got another one for your ass. Right home. Oh, shit. Anti-Attorney of King Randor, the 2000X version. All the details in this shit right here. I love it. The figure on its own, you know what I mean? It's got a lot of details, but when you color it with those special colors, with the red and black, and then he came just a little bit of gold, you know what I mean? That's the king, the king I represent. The pants look good, the nice different shade, following up with the armor color, with the gold trim right there, and then that, oh, that big ass sword right there. Nice custom weapon fit for a king and then his scepter right there is perfect but that fucking face oh it's dangerous it just looks crazy i love it he knocked this one out the park definitely in my top five you know what i mean loving the way king randor looks looking at the back of the body that cape that deep red oh it looks so good i personally am not a fan of plastic capes 
I wish it was soft goods, you know what I mean? But what he was able to do with this plastic cape, he brought it to life. I'm loving the colors. Everything is flawless on the back. But right here without the cape, just so y'all can see that beautiful armor. Oh, it's so shiny with the gold. I love it. You killed that one. And yes, you know, I fucked up. I accidentally used my anti attorney kick Rangor 2000 X parts for something else. So I'm gonna put this picture right there. You see that shit? Comparing the two, King Randor looks good, but anti attorney King Randor looks better. Another win for the anti attorney group, but we got another for you ass. This big ass owlbear. You know what I mean? Now, this is from the uh, Dungeons and Dragons line. I know it's not Motu, but I had to make an exception. But this beast right here, I absolutely love the articulation on this figure and the details that he put in it. Do you see the details all up in the feathers? Every individual fucking feather, it's there. It's easily noticeable. It's perfect. He wanted to do something a little special for this one. So he gave his ass a nice bone necklace, you know what I'm saying? Got a skeleton right there with some big ass teeth on it. You must have killed a big ass beast. That fucking face, that shit looks demented. I'm loving the eyes all white. This is one figure, if you don't got it, take your ass to Ollie's, that shit is 10 bucks. Go buy that shit. Right there in the back of the body. Oh, it looks even better than the front. You can definitely see all the details all up in the feathers, all up in the back with the fucking wings on the, on the arms and shit. This shit looks like it belongs in Antioch I am so glad he took the time to do this one. But look at this shit, folks. When he goes on all fours right there, it turns into fucking like Battle Cat, you know what I'm saying? But a big ass fucking crazy person that can stand on his legs. That shit is so hot. Oh, I love the way that looks. All you gotta do for those that don't know about this figure, it comes with a separate pair of hands, you know what I mean? So it goes flat. And right there, he's in attack mode. He is ready to fuck somebody up. So is Antitonia He-Man comparing his ass next to the regular Owl Bear. That Antitonia person would eat his ass alive. That shit looks so goddamn good. Oh, it just makes me just appreciate all the details that much more. Seeing what it used to look like, seeing what you could do with a figure with just two colors. Now right here, these three was a bonus to me. I did not know I was getting these figures. He made these ones them in the box he didn't tell me what was coming but i knew it was something hot and these three rulers of the moon now you know what i mean they rules of the sun this is an anti-attorney so these are rulers of the moon now i forget the names of these three figures i just remember these were the last three sun man figures in the line the ones that came in the three pack you know what i'm saying that stayed a certain price and ended up dropping all the way down to goddamn near fucking five dollars you know what i mean this shit right here they look good like this from the front and on the back, the details that he put into each one, you know what I mean? It made him pop. Any figure that you make into an anti turnier version, as long as you do that shit right, that shit's gonna look hot. The spikes on his fucking thing right there on the vest, that shit is perfect. And he gave his ass right there a little shank knife. Perfect choices for each one. And then right there, comparing the ass. Now, he didn't do the armor all on that one because that white, it didn't really dive right. You know what I mean? But I don't give a shit. I didn't know this was coming. I'll take whatever I'm gonna get. You know what I mean? But I'm loving the evil versions of each one. Hands down, anti attorney is the winner. Now watch this shit. Where this wave three, he ended up putting some different type of paint on these bitches. So when the black light is on, that shit pops. And you can tell, even from the back, all the ones with the eyes is glowing. That's wave three. And I love that shit. Even on the fucking the rulers of the moon. You see all that shit right there? Him in the back, one dog right behind his ass. All the ass is glowing. That is a perfect addition. The little things that go a long way. That's the shit that I'm talking about. Oh, that shit looks so crazy. You see the ones right there, wave one? Nope, they ain't got that shit on their ass. But right there, you see that Tila? Perfect. You see that cold dog right there? Evil motherfucker. All these ones in the front, flawless. These are definitely my favorite out of all the waves is this one made it pop. All in all, folks, now that we went through that last wave, I officially have 
every single good guy, not including him saying all the rulers of the sun, because I didn't know I was getting the bitches. But every other regular good guy in the origins line, they are right here in front of your ass in the anti-attorney version. This right here, folks, is a one-of-a-kind collection of anti-attorney figures. And it was all brought to you by Lunar Eclipse Custom. Now, there are a couple figures he didn't make, which is the Battle Cat, and you know what I'm saying, the Stridor and that turtle figure right there. But he made the rest of them, and he killed that shit. And for some of y'all that's thinking, well, what's up with that castle? That ain't uh, Castle Hellskull. Castle Hellskull is on the way, trust and believe. But as far as these go, we got another wave coming. And it's that wave right there. Wave four will be the bad guys turned into good guys. And I cannot wait for that shit. But until then, drunk He-Man better watch his back. Because that's how I turn your He-Man and his group, they coming for blood. Now right here, folks, I'm doing a giveaway. All you got to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. And that's it. In a week, I'll put them in the randomizer. And one of y'all is going to win that leather head. I want to know which one of y'all figures is y'all favorite in this video. Leave it in the comments because my ass is curious. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't going to hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.